good morning or oh, good afternoon sorry uh, this is uh, uh, Mohammed uh, from Somalia I will present on behalf of the Federal Ministry of Health uh, the status of the cholera prevention and response plan in Somalia I will just give you a brief uh, update on the cases where we are on the response and what are the major achievements uh, we reached so far and uh, what are the, also the challenges uh, we are facing on responding for cholera. Uh, this is a snapshot, epidemiological snapshot. Uh, uh, close to, we vaccinated close to 1 million in 2022 up to 2023. And we're expecting very soon to start after we get approval from the ICG, the cross-border districts in, uh, we share a border in Kenya, it was a huge massive outbreak in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia. We started collaboration between these three countries. Uh, this is the map of Somalia, uh, the coastline. We are the country having the longest coastline in Africa. Uh, we share borders in Djibouti, Kenya, and, and Ethiopia. Uh, on down, down, you can see the, the weeks of 2023 almost close we have 10,000 community cases which are suspects for COVID-19. We have, we are facing a huge challenge on the testing capacity and the operational support, how we can confirm the cholera cases. Uh, actually, the most common circulating in country is uh, CV0139 Ogoa, that is a type. Uh, we have a very slow case fatality rate, which is approximately 0.3%. Uh, this is the latest biomedical uh, update. We produce weekly citra in the country. Uh, and they are now we, it's a country we have been suffering a prototypic emergencies, many climate changes like drought, floods, and that is the season. It's very common when it comes to the, the cholera cases. Uh, this is a summary for how we respond uh, according to the, our national preparedness and response, prevention and response plan for cholera. We have the coordination and leadership uh, pillar. We have surveillance and reporting pillar. We have laboratory capacities, case management, uh, OCV, WASH plus IPC, risk communication, community engagement, and also the supplies. Uh, recently, uh, after for COVID, we start, we, we, we got an opportunity how we can build our system particularly at the uh, coordination platforms. We established national and uh, subnational EUCs. This is a major, major, major stone also to handle all the different uh, emergencies, particularly the disease outbreaks. At the leadership also, we have the National Cholera Task Force. Also, uh, we updated and developed both the National Cholera Strategy and also the National Cholera Contingency Plans or Cholera uh, Plan. Uh, also, we started to coordinate the areas which is very high hotspots, including the cross border. We, I, we, we will, you will see the next slides for the major achievements. We now started and kicked off how we can collaborate with the, the borders uh, in Kenya, Ethiopia, in, in, in terms of the information sharing and making sure that the operational response are ongoing. Uh, in laboratory, we started to use recently the IDTs which is very sufficient, cost effective, and you can easily detect all the, the cholera cases. Uh, also, as part of the getting uh, support from the different uh, funding resources from COVID, we established the biotechnology capacity in the country, almost seven, including national and the subnational levels. At case management, we almost established eight, this is sometimes it depends on the, the variety of the situation of the cholera cases. Some of the centers are closed when the, the outbreak is, you know, uh, subsided down. But some of the facilities we are running a long, long, you know, term because of the, 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 the cases are huge. And also they are saving a long different, you know, community uh, uh, borders. Uh, also, we have as part of the the response mechanism um, uh, OCV uh, up to, uh, to we 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 did a campaign as part of the the cholera outbreak response. It's not part of the routine. Uh, close to two million uh, since uh, 
2022 until now 2023 mid June. Uh, Wash also we uh, although we are suffering a lot of challenge in terms of how we can integrate the primary health care or developmental wash and also the response wash that we always conduct as part of the wash cluster which is always goes along with the humanitarian response uh, we have also the rcc as part of the how we can increase the awareness the community uptake the demand and all this kind related to the dissemination of the of the of the of the of the uh, dissemination of the message that will translate the key deliverables of the uh, clara also uh, supplies the same uh, we are we are just trying how we can enforce forecasting procurement and also predispositions and the distribution of the supplies uh, here we have the key uh, achievement summary uh, as you can see uh, it's already part of the, the our uh, in, uh, enhancement of our capacity of the pandemic preparedness and response uh, the, it's enhancing the coordination the EOCs enhancing the lab capacity, enhancing the disease detections, particularly we recently we established and kicked off the, the, uh, the new uh, strategy for the integrated disease surveillance and response, which is the IDSR, and the cholera is part of that uh, strategy. Also, the country has started uh, as part of the workforce development uh, early, late 2020, uh, one for the field epidemiology training program as part of the building the capacity of the frontline health workers, how they can detect and also prevent and also play a key role when it comes to the, the outbreak investigation and the response mechanism. Uh, we always work very closely with as part of the humanitarian response, the different classes approach like the health and the wash, how we can also make sure that we align all our efforts when there is a, an outbreak for the, the, hot, the hot spot areas. Uh, recently, we updated our cholera strategy and plan, and this is one of the major uh, 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 challenges, major major achievements. Success always we deploy and as part of the responding and thanks to the ICG and the Gavi receiving the the vaccines for the OCV. Uh, also, as part of the funding uh, from the response for COVID nineteen, we started to uh, you know strengthening our the, our national capacity for all the epidemic and pandemics, particularly uh, the labs, the coordinations, and also the distractions. Uh, this is also one of the uh, funding, one of the uh, major success we received from the country. Uh, as part of also, we started to establish the coordination platforms, which is the seven EOCs, national and subnational, and we are likely looking how we can enhance the coordination platforms, the response, and align all their efforts regarding the responding for the outbreaks. A challenge always is the uh, competing priorities because government is struggling uh, to provide high, high, high intensive uh, funding for the for the security. There is a low, low, low uh, funding for the social services, particularly the health and education. So always we are on uh, de uh, depend on the donors' support. Uh, how we can get their responses for the outbreaks, particularly the cholera. There is also needed how we can use the latest update from the GTFCs. We are also expecting how we can apply on that. Uh, other challenge is uh, interventions regarding how we can align our efforts, the health component and the wash. Uh, still, there's a challenge on the, the cross-border. We, we have a weak collaboration between the cross-border cross uh, surveillance. Now we are trying how we can build and have some sort of the coordinations in terms of allowing for the IHR, in terms of the, uh, the, su the surveillance focal points and also integrating them to the polio team. So this uh, task will take the MOH and uh, we, are, we are looking for, and we already started communication between the three countries. Uh, always there's a challenge implementation for the NCP, how we can get, a f we, 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 we did a cost clear interventions, timelines for all these activities, but there's no, funding opportunity, uh, you know, funding for all these interventions. Uh, this is a summary for our priority 2023, 2024, always continuing outbreak response, vaccination, responding for the different kinds of the uh, case management, awareness, CTCs, ORS, as you do, as we do uh, business as usually. The bottleneck is how we can align all our, hazard, our, our, all our hazards in one uh, plan, uh, under all different challenges we are facing, like the drought, 
floods, the challenge of the lacking funding resource for the respond, global shortage for the cholera supplies, and it's one of the major challenges we are also uh, suffering uh, getting on time. Uh, this is uh, a briefly indicated progress roadmap targets, and I think uh, we, we covered all the different uh, coordinations according to the roadmap in terms of the surveillance, in terms of health system strengthening, in terms of the cholera vaccination, the wash, and the community uh, engagement. And you can uh, follow easily the indicators, the target where we are, and also the status of these all indicators. This is uh, the beautiful city of Magdishu. Uh, it is uh, one of the now, it's the state of the building, and I hope uh, maybe some of you, you went there, and the rest we are expecting you to welcome you. Thank you, all of you.